Welcome to the book of 2 Thessalonians. It is comprised of 47 verses. It's not that long. It's a short little book. And so it will take us, and this is when I typed my daily commentary, it'll take us one day at a time, just as the dawn of each new day, only one and one half months to analyze it. It'll be a little bit longer because we're going a couple verses of study and then we should be done in you know, a couple months. But it is hoped that you will be blessed as each day unfolds with the marvelous insights into this beautiful epistle from the mind of God and through the hand of Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. Paul begins by introducing himself with, along with Silvanus, which he is also known as Silas in the Bible. Now, I don't know if the texts are different or if they just called him Silas, but uh, my guess is that the Alexandrian text says Silas, and that's why they put it the, in uh, that Bible. The footnote but, says uh, Silvanus. Okay, it's there good. you go. So Silvanus and Silas, same person, and Timothy. Uh, the letter bears Paul's name, and there is no valid reason to suggest that he is not the true author. However, he leaves off the customary term apostle, which he uses in many of his other epistles, because he was already well known to those at the church. He just sent them a letter. He's been visiting them a couple times, and you know, so there's no need for him to say, I'm an apostle. They already know that, so he left that off of this particular salutation. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, he was already well known to those at the church. He is the apostle to the Gentiles, and the letter is writ written to a Gentile-led church. And I would be more specific and say that it is a son of anybody? Shem, Ham, or Japheth? Oh, um. Ham. Japheth. Japheth. That's right, not Ham. Ham is on your sandwich. He's from the line of Japheth. The Thessalonians and all of Paul's letters that are addressed to people groups are addressed to sons of Japheth. Mm -hmm.